Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Question 69. You have an Azure Repos repository named Repo1 and a Fabric-enabled Microsoft Power BI Premium capacity. The capacity contains two workspaces named Workspace 1 and Workspace 2. Git integration is enabled at the workspace level. You plan to use Microsoft Power BI Desktop and Workspace 1 to make version control changes to a semantic model stored in Repo 1. The changes will be built and deployed to Workspace 2 by using Azure pipelines. You need to ensure that report and semantic model definitions are saved as individual text files in a folder hierarchy. The solution must minimize development and maintenance effort. In which file format should you save the changes? A. PBIP. B. PBIDS. C. PBIT. D. PBIX. This is a straightforward question. The correct answer is PBIP. When you save work as a PBIP, Power BI Desktop organizes report and semantic model items into individual text files within folders. This aligns perfectly with what the question requires. To provide further clarity, the Power BI documentation states that saving as a Power BI project, PBIP, allows for better authoring, collaboration, and project management, as all item definitions are stored as plain text files in an intuitive folder structure. Here's why the other options are not suitable. PBIDS files are specific to Power BI data sources and are used primarily for managing connection settings, not for saving project files. PBIT files are templates that provide a starting point for reports, but do not include actual data, making them unsuitable for complete project versioning. PBX files contain both the report structure and the data imported from various sources, which is more than what's needed for simple project management and version control. Below is a summary of the key differences between these file formats. See you with another question. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos.